let's continue our discussion on string methods the first topic is join method the second topic is replace method and after discussing these two topics we will see some homework problems let's first understand what is the meaning of join method join method is used to join the elements of an iterable so with the help of join method we can combine the elements of something called as an iterable so what is the meaning of an iterable we will understand the meaning of an iterable in a moment but right now we need to see the syntax of join method join method can be applied on an iterable we need to provide iterable within parentheses and here we need to provide the separator so it is separator dot join within parentheses we need to provide the iterable now let's understand what is the meaning of an iterable an iterable is an object which is capable of returning its members one at a time so iterable is first of all an object and iterable is an object which is capable of returning its members so in other words we can also say that we can access individual members of an iterable easily list dictionary tuple set and string these are all iterables string is an iterable we know that because we can access individual characters of a string list is also an iterable because we can access individual elements of a list similarly dictionary tuple and set are also iterables at this point we don't know what is the meaning of a dictionary tuple and set but we will learn them in the subsequent presentations the goal of this lecture is to understand join method in details for this we will consider list and dictionary data structures as examples of iterables we will provide list and dictionary data structures as iterables to the join method to understand how join works for this we need to open our command prompt and we need to activate the python interactive shell after activating the python interactive shell let's type this command l1 equal to this entire list which consists of 5 items h e l l o so there are total 5 strings within this list and each string consists of a single character if we hit enter we will not get any error message because this is a valid command list is something which is capable of storing some individual items and here we are storing total 5 items in this list now we know that we can apply join method on this list because list is an iterable so we can provide this list to join and join is capable of combining these elements but it also needs this information that is separator so we need to provide separator here and separator is something that comes between these characters the goal is to combine these characters so as to get the string hello this means that there should not be any separator between h and e e and l l and l l and o for this we need to provide empty string as a separator as we cannot eliminate this so we need to provide empty string as a separator and we can apply join method easily on l1 if we hit enter we will get this string hello so join is capable of combining the elements of an iterable we need to provide the separator if we don't want any separator then we need to provide empty string as a separator not even a single white space is allowed in that case i hope this idea is clear let's move on to the next example this time we want to provide this list l2 equal to i am rocky so in this list a total of 3 strings exists i am rocky now the goal is to combine all these strings and this time we want white space as a separator let's type this command where the separator is white space and to the join method we need to provide l2 if we hit enter we will get this string i am rocky let's move on to the next example this time we will provide this list l3 equal to name of a variable so there are total four items in this list now let's type this command this time the separator is underscore and we want to join these elements which means we need to provide l3 to join method if we hit enter 
we will get this string because the separator is underscore. This means that underscores will come between these strings. Let's consider a different data structure now. This time we will consider a dictionary. So let's type this command d equal to this entire dictionary. This is the syntax of a dictionary. We need to use these curly braces instead of square brackets. Within curly braces, we can provide key value pairs which are separated by colon. So this is a key value pair. This is the first key value pair and this is the second key value pair. Key value pairs are always separated by commas. Key in this case is name and value is Adam. Think of it like key is a reference point which helps us in accessing the individual values. So in this case key is name and value is Adam. So if we are interested in accessing the name of a person, then we just need to provide the key and we can access the value associated with this key. Name has this value, Adam, and country key has this value, US. If we now hit enter, we will not get any error message because this command is correct. Now we want to provide this iterable to join method. Let's see what happens. The separator in this case is this. We have and, and before and we have a white space, and after and we have a white space. After this, we have this dot join and to the join method, we are providing this dictionary D. What happens when we hit enter? We will get this string, name and country. So here only keys are combined, not values. If we provide a dictionary to join, it will only combine keys and not values. So if we provide a dictionary to join method, it will combine the keys of that dictionary, not the values. So this is the reason why we are getting name and country. After understanding what join method is, let's move on to the next topic, which is replace method. Replace method is used to replace a specified string with another string. So with the help of replace method, we can replace a string with another string. Before understanding how it works, let's see the syntax of replace method. The syntax is very simple. We need to provide string first and to the string we can apply replace method. Replace needs three arguments. We need to provide old string and new string. After this, we can also provide count. Replace method is capable of replacing a specified string with another string. So it will replace the old string by the new string. Let's see how replace works with the help of an example. Let's type this command s equal to I love to eat strawberries. Now this is the entire string and we want to apply replace method on this string. And what we want to replace? We want to replace this substring strawberries with mangoes. For this we can apply replace method on the string. We now need to hit enter and we now need to type this command s dot replace and here the old string is strawberries and we want to replace strawberries by mangoes that's why new string must be mangoes if we hit enter we will get i love to eat mangoes i hope this idea is clear how replace method works but please note that if we have multiple instances of strawberries this means within a string if we have strawberries appearing multiple times all those strings will be replaced by mangoes. So by default, replace method will replace all old strings by the new string. Let's move on to the next example. This time we are providing three arguments to the replace method and replace method is still being applied on the same string. Here we have the old string as a white space character and we want to replace white space by hyphen. But this time we don't want every white space to be replaced by hyphens. We only want the first two white spaces to be replaced by hyphens. So, in order to achieve this, we need to provide count value here. Count value indicates the number of instances of the old string you want to replace. We want to replace only the first two instances of the white space. Hence, we need to provide count value as 2. The result will be, I love to eat mangoes, 
where between I love to, we will get these hyphens. If we are interested in replacing all white spaces by hyphens, we do not have to provide the count value. By default, all white spaces will be replaced by hyphens. I hope the idea of replace method is completely clear, how replace method works. Let's now see some homework problems which you need to solve. The first homework problem is, what is the output of the following code? We have this code and you need to find the output of this code. Try this on your own first and then run in your command prompt to see the output. Let's move on to the next homework problem. Suppose that a list contains two integers as follows. We have this list which consists of two elements 1 and 2. Can we use the join method to join the integers of the above list without any space between them? Is it possible to join these elements? You need to answer it as yes or no. We have understood what a join method is and how join method works. We have also understood the working of replace method and we have seen some homework problems. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.